Vermilio Vermilio is the most common member of the wormline family in Europe. I will first briefly introduce this species, then I will present its life cycle, all mainly based on observations I made in Switzerland. You may have come across such pits before. Those are traps of ambush predators. Many people know antlions and its pit building larvae. But there is a lesser known group whose larvae also build similar pits, worm lions. Top, large and small antlions and worm lions. Bottom, only large and small antlions. In humid climates, worm lions, unlike antlions, are almost exclusively found in well sheltered places like under bridges or against buildings. Around here, worm lions are very common, especially in urban areas under artificial shelters. Under large shelters, like highway bridges, there can be huge populations. Now for the life cycle. Let's start with the eggs. They are very hard to see, as they look very much like sand grains. After about maybe a week, the eggs hatch and the young larvae start building a small pit. Other than size, pit building and prey catching are very similar in small and large larvae, so I will show this with larger individuals. In this time lapse, one second of film equals 30 minutes real time. In this setup, there are about 8 large ant lions and many worm lions. One second equals 4 hours. There are a lot of relocations. This is because here, a lot of larvae have just been added to a new small environment and they haven't yet settled. If undisturbed, there can be very dense populations with only little movement. Unlike ant lions, worm lions build their pits by just sitting in the center and ejecting material from there. They are able to move rather big chunks, but if it is too big to throw out, they will fill the pit in, move it out of the way, and build the pit again. Once the pit is finished, they will hide at the bottom of it, half buried, and wait for a prey to fall in. They can survive months without any food. Sometimes, like here, you can just about see the larvae at the bottom of their pits. This is what the pits are for. Capturing preys. Here it is fresh. A little below 10 degrees Celsius. This is why the ants and worm lions are so slow. Unlike ant lion larvae, worm lion larvae are active all, more or less all year round. They are therefore less tolerant to cold winters than ant lions. If they catch enough food, they can complete their life cycle in one year, but if they are in a poor environment, this can take several years. When exposed and feeling in imminent danger, worm lions can lash about vigorously to escape. If the larva is large enough, and it is the right season, it will turn into a pupa. The ones here are empty. The adults emerge after approximately two to three weeks. The pupa is usually completely buried, only pointing out just before the adult emerges, as can be seen here. This is accelerated 60 times. Adults are short-lived. They are only found for a few weeks at around June, July. As for what I could observe, males fly around in search of females who are sitting in nearby vegetation. After mating, the female flies away in search of a suitable habitat. If they find a place that seems suitable, they hit the ground to test whether the soil is loose enough. If it is, an egg is laid, hit it under some soil, and the female flies away to lay the next egg. 
This doesn't really look like an ideal place to lay eggs. But the eggs laid there did hatch. On the left you can see those larvae. On the right, some bigger larvae I found elsewhere, also with almost no soil. Finally, a picture with the different life stages to scale.